Welcome back to the program, everybody. Thanks for watching. Dr. Stan Kutcher spent his day yesterday with a group of Halifax teachers, and he's teaching them how to introduce mental health discussions into the curriculum and how to spot the early signs of mental illness in the teens that they work with. It's an innovative national program. It's been developed right here in Halifax by the Sun Life Chair team at the IWK. And uh, Dr. Stan is here to tell us more. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Good Wednesday morning to you. Same to you. Yeah, for sure. Tell us about uh, yesterday, how it, all, how it all went for you with the teachers. Well, this is a great program that the Halifax Regional School Board has actually been instrumental in leading in the province. And mm -hmm. the province of Nova Scotia, I'm pleased to say, is actually leading in Canada, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. And it's a mental health literacy program. So it embeds knowledge, understanding about mental health and mental disorders mm -hmm. into everyday school curriculum in this case, into Grade 9 Healthy Living Curriculum in Nova Scotia. Okay, Grade 9s. What is it about the program that wanted you to get involved in it? Well, you know, we're facing uh, an awakening mm -hmm. uh, all over the globe, actually, of the importance of addressing mental health and understanding mental disorders and getting good, effective treatments to people as soon as they need them. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't do that if you don't know the basics. So that's what this program is about. It's about the basics. It's called mental health literacy. So that's learning about mental health, how you can try to achieve good mental health. Mm -hmm. It's learning about mental disorders, what they're like, what they're not like, what kind of treatments are helpful, what things aren't helpful. It's addressing stigma, and it teaches kids how to get help when they need help. Right. So that's the literacy part. And, if you, and that's the foundation for all else that happens. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not literate in English, you can't read, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same with mental health. So that's what we're doing. Why do you think it's taken so long for us to raise awareness on this issue for teachers? Because teachers, I think, are trained in if you have a person or a student who's allergic to a nut allergy or a student who's a diabetic, there's policies in place to deal with that. Why is it taking so long for policies to come around to deal with mental health? Well, I just think it's just been part of our slow movement in society to grapple with and understand and deal with this as, as a health issue mm. and as a social issue. It's, it's just decades and decades and decades long of misconceptions. Mm -hmm. We haven't had the science until recently and now we're actually we're showing some really good, good, good interventions and things are working well for people. So it, nothing succeeds like success. You can actually show you can treat disorders. People say, oh, wow, finally now we can move forward. But the point that you made about the teachers is essential because we have heard from teachers in Halifax, in Nova Scotia, across this entire country, actually mm. everywhere in the world that I work, we hear the same thing. And so they're saying, we have kids in our classrooms. They have mental health problems or they have mental disorders. We need help. Right. Some of the red flags that the teachers uh, have to be on the lookout for in your teachings. Could you go into just a few of those, maybe? Sure. And it depends on the age of the child. Okay. So if we're looking at, at junior high and high school, that's the time in life when many of the major mental disorders begin. So you're dealing with depression. You're dealing mm. with substance abuse. You're dealing with severe anxiety disorders. You're seeing the first beginnings of psychosis, of eating disorders. So my goodness, that's the point in life <laughs> between ages of 12 and 25 when 70 percent of mental disorders can be diagnosed. Where are the kids then? Mm -hmm. They're in our classrooms. And it's being done in Halifax now, which very proud of that fact. Uh, when, is it, when will it expand outside of Nova Scotia, do you think? Well, it is expanding now throughout the province. So uh, our expectation is that within the year that every grade nine class in this province will be getting the curriculum. And I have to say kudos to the Department of Education mm -hmm. for the leadership in this. Right. Other provinces uh, are moving very, very rapidly. Ontario, hundreds and hundreds of schools in Ontario have already begun this. We're starting another project in Alberta. Mm -hmm. A number of schools in British Columbia are well on their way. So we're looking at a, hopefully a nationwide expansion. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, the good thing about it all is dialogue. You need to have open dialogue and discussion and awareness to, you know, to break down the stigma of mental health because it is a big issue these days. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. We have to have dialogue and we have to have good knowledge. Yeah. Put them together and we can move ahead. Well, well, thank you very much for coming in to talk about this today. Welcome. And enjoy the rest of your day. There's you too. Dr. Stan Kutcher. For more information about the Sun Life Program for Educators, you can visit the Teen Mental Health website. It's at teenmentalhealth.org. We have also included a link on our webpage. Just go to globalmaritimes.com, click on the links in the news.